need to pull a little bit of this big one off here. We're just going to back this back off. Um, I felt like it was taking over too much. And again, it's all personal preference on how you want your stripes to look. My word is not law by any stretch of imagination. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I've been painting my nails all my life. However, the nail art part of it, I probably started uh, not even a year ago, being serious about my nail art and quit goofing off. Uh, and I've really learned a lot. I spent a lot of hours on YouTube. Uh, nails are kind of fun. You don't have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to be able to create some really cool stuff. Um, I have found the most inexpensive ways, I think, to do stuff. And uh, I like that. I've got nails different. I like that. And I have to say, I am a master of the art of cheapskate. So some things you can skip on, some things you can't. Uh, nail stuff, of course. Goodness, you can pick up anywhere and everywhere. Sally's has got some. Okay, I'm making a mess out of this one again. So let's just take this one off. I have managed to send my kids up there to Sally's a time or two and ask them to pick up some more colors for me. I do a lot of dragons and the dragon eyes. It seems to me like I'm always running out of orange or yellows or uh, I'll be doing them and they won't have the right color in mind. Probably what I should do before I mess up this nail anymore is cure what I have and go from there. But I've got to clean this up before I cure it or I'm going to have a whole line of these weird black lines. Again, this is tiger fur we're supposedly mimicking. So if you like that so far, we're going to go ahead and cure it which I think is really cute. The other one out, I believe. Um, oh, hey, that's our thumbnail. I believe what I am going to do is probably use some matte on this because I have not painted the white as beautiful as I really should have. You can kind of see up here. It's not as heavy. You can go in and, and do it that because when you put your top coat on, it kind of evens everything out. So there's that. Pretty cool. All right. Oh, I like that. I don't know about that messy one, but I think it'll be all right. I think I top coat it. Not sure what happened right there. Not sure why that's messy. Again, um, it's cured, so I can't do anything about it. Had I noticed it before, I probably would have fixed it. But um, this one is a matte top coat. Goodness me, I can't hang on to them. They are tacky, by the way, until you either use a little bit of alcohol to wipe the top or put a top coat on them. So this is the matte. I'm not sure which way this one goes. Oh, it goes this way, maybe? Weird. Um, <laughs> definitely not a rounded in person. Um, so this is the matte coat here. You can kind of see it. It's very velvety. Uh, we can do a shiny over this, which I might go ahead and just do the shiny over the tiger print and do, that sounds like a good idea, let's try it, let's see what happens. We're going to go ahead and do a shiny coat over the tiger print only, and then we'll do a matte coat. Always, 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 please seal the sides of your, your nails here. If you do not seal the sides of your nails... Um, there's a possibility you could crack or break or chip them. Uh, I am really, really rough on my nails. As I said, I'm a nurse, so uh, they get washed by a thousand times a day. And I uh, will do things around the house here with the dogs and um, dishes and laundry. And I am not careful. I do not wear gloves. I do not make a big deal about having these nails. I live my life as if I don't have them. And I never pay the consequences. 
uh, there we go, great. I do use let me show you here. this bottle, by the way, has an N on the top to designate this is my newest bottle. And when they become old, I add a O to them. This is Beetle's Tough Coat. This one's a 15 ml bottle. I have a link on my website. Probably the cheapest price I ever found them on Amazon. Uh, that's where I buy it. $6.99 a bottle. Of course, I have Amazon Prime. And quit, Bindi. Stop. I'm sorry, my dog is licking me. Stop, Ben. Just lay down and be good for a second. And let's go ahead. Well, we're going to, uh, I would say, Dad did not let you have very much work. I'm going to go ahead and talk to those here. Oh my gosh, I said that word, the O U T word. Bindi, quit. Oh, she's shaking my chair. Goodness me. No, go lay down for a minute. Just patience, girlfriend. All right, we're going to stick this one in there for approximately 30 seconds. Basically, why I'm sticking it in there for 30 seconds is I just want to uh, cure it enough that um, it looks good. And then we're going to go ahead and use, I bought this this time, I'm trying the Model 1's Coloring Life Gel Nail Polish. This is a, uh, oh, oh, sorry, wrong one. This is a matte top coat. Make sure you grab the one that says matte top coat because if you put white over your design, you might be upset. Okay, so here is our top coat shiny. And I'm going to go ahead and do this one half and half real quick before the dog thinks she's going to die because she has to go O-U-T. Okay. Yes, I do spell these. My dog is very smart. She actually knows I'm talking about her, so as you can hear, she stops panting. We're going to go right up to that orange line. Uh, let's get this matte looking pretty up here because... Right there. Oh, good girl. And we're going to make sure that the top here, I'm looking in the light to make sure that that's really nicely done. You see the bottom, we've already top coated. That's what we wanted. I see a little bit of a hump right here. And again, um, gel coat stays rather movable until you put it in the lamp and cure it. So, uh, if you have humps or bumps, now's the time to get them out once you cure it. Of course, it's permanent. So, see if the top looks good. I hope you did fuzz in there, but that's all right. Um, looks good. Okay, we're going to pop this in the light for six seconds, and you'll be able to see what it looks like when we do two-tone. And I think I'll do the same with this one because I'm pretty impressed with it. This time I'm just going to do the opposite. I'm going to do the matte first, just to show you. It doesn't really matter which one you do first. Um, in fact, you might want to do the matte first because matte over top coat, is, matte, matte over shiny is very noticeable. Obviously, it turns matte. You can do shiny over matte and get away with it. Uh, it will turn back to shiny again. So if you ever run into that, by all means, just put it back to shiny. So shiny over matte is good. Matte over shiny, not so much, obviously. Okay, this one is about ready to come out. We'll be able to see uh, the fish product. I really like the tiger stripes. I've always... Love tigers when I was young. I can remember wanting one. Then you get older and you watch the horror stories of them eating people. And you go, no, I'm good. Okay, so here's our finished product. We have matted the top. Kept the bottom shiny, as you can see. Looks good. Very happy with the results. Our nails are cute. I'm going to go ahead and probably just matte this. Um... Shouldn't have put some decals on there. That would have been cute. But we're just going to go ahead and mattify it. I'm just checking the top here that goes up against the uh, skin. I want to make sure that that's pretty. Here's our thumbnail. Um, that will throw the top there. Well, maybe gems. Gems will fix that. Gems fix all sorts of boo boos. Actually, that's a really good idea. This would be really pretty to have some orange gems on. Not a lot of people can do orange and black, but 
um, ironically enough, that was my high school colors. It's for graduation. We had big arguments about the girls looking like pumpkins and the boys were in the black. Guys, sorry. And uh, they compromised with us wearing white with orange. Um, I think we were on the roads. They were quite beautiful, actually. All right, that one looks really good, too. We're going to pop this one in here. We have another one about to come out. And it was at the time again for... Uh, probably 30 seconds just so I can get this video done and you can try these techniques on your own because I do believe I might actually add some gems to these as you get the gist of our set here you can see the shiny you can see the matte the difference between the two. Oh, you know what huh I guess not because we never did shiny that one um see my stuff out of the way Definitely, definitely take a look at your nails before you put them on. Make sure you've done the both coats. I'm just going to get that shiny real quick and put a little just a tad so I can get my straight line a little more. I do want to incorporate that one little orphan guy that goes across there. Definitely want to do that. And ta-da! That is really all there is to our tiger stripes. I hope that I've helped in some way, shape, or form uh, for you to be able to perfect or at least start practicing tiger stripes. I think in gel art or nail art, um, boldness is a key. Just try it. If you don't like it, you can always paint over it. There's our set. And now I can actually say I do have shiny on everybody and I do have a top coat on everybody so um, I have a variety of different things I've used I hope I showed you that you don't have to be perfect and even that spot I didn't like is quite fuzzy and odd um, I have seen people go one further and actually take small fine brushes and make them fuzzier and just kind of pull the black and make it like fuzz um, I kind of like it like this it's a lot less effort and time and the whole idea is to put them on and be able to wear them and have fun and of course have them durable enough to uh, hold up to everyday rigor there's the bottom you can see the white through it another reason why i did the white base coat kind of makes it look more like a real nail when it's on the on the nail bed and that will be it I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I have helped in some way, shape, or form make nail art less intimidating and definitely tiger stripes less intimidating. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Please come back soon and we'll have more crazy videos. Bye-bye.